Hello, I'm going to be talking today about transmutation. Now it sounds rather complicated, in fact it's a way of treating nuclear waste material to make it less dangerous and easier to store. And I promise you I won't get too complicated. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure we're all familiar with the saying, there's no such thing as a free lunch. That is certainly true as far as energy generation is concerned. When we produce energy, it is always at a price. For example, if we burn fossil fuels, what do we get? CO2 emissions. If we build dams, for example, in order to produce hydroelectric power, we can end up destroying the ecology of entire river basins and valleys. And if we produce nuclear energy in a nuclear power station, what do we get? Well, we get lots of carbon-free energy, yes, but we also get a lot of radioactive waste material, material which has to be disposed of safely, perhaps for as long as 10,000 years while it remains radioactive. And it's this disposal issue which means that many people who might otherwise welcome and embrace nuclear energy as a clean, carbon-free energy source, they tend to be shying away from nuclear energy because of the waste disposal problem. The current most favoured solution for disposal of nuclear waste is to bury it in the ground, to treat it, perhaps vitrify it, seal it and bury it deep underground in so-called geological repositories. The only problem with this solution is nobody wants to have such a, a geological repository anywhere near where they live. And the difficulties in finding suitable locations for depositories mean that, as I say, many people who would otherwise welcome nuclear energy feel that we have to look elsewhere for carbon-free energy generation. Elsewhere means, for example, renewables, energy sources such as wind power or solar power. We also, of course, have to be more aware these days of energy efficiency and energy conservation. Now, of course, renewables are important um, and energy efficiency, energy conservation is extremely important. But I believe that if we are to have a chance of averting the dangers of climate change while still enjoying the standard of living that we are used to or that we aspire to, then we're going to have to continue to rely on nuclear energy. So, what to do about the waste disposal problem. One solution that has been around for a couple of decades, since the 1990s, is transmutation. The basic idea is that you put the radioactive waste material into a machine and then you bombard it with a beam of high energy subatomic particles. You smash it up into much more stable products with shorter half-lives. The waste would still need to be stored, but it would be much less hazardous and the half-life, as I say, would be reduced. It wouldn't have to be stored for so long. But the real beauty of the transmutation process is that it could actually be used to produce new, fresh energy. Transmutation could actually generate more energy than is used in operating the transmutation process. The heat generated by splitting the waste nuclei could be used to generate electricity. Part of that could be used to run the particle accelerator for the transmutation, and the rest could be fed into the national grid, the electricity grid. As I say, the idea of transmutation has been around since the 1990s. If it could be made to work, it could go a long way 
towards helping people come to terms with nuclear energy as a major source of carbon-free energy on into the future. Thank you.